3D Fox Acrylic Nailer Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi guys, so in today's video, this is going to be the second video for my cute woodland series. So yesterday's was a deer and tomorrow's will be a raccoon and today's is a fox. I love this design. The fox was one of the main reasons that I wanted to do this series. I think they're so adorable and you see fox foxes everywhere and so I thought it would be a good time to do this as well as I don't know this time of year just seems like woodland creature season to me so that being said that's what today's video is going to be and then one other quick thing I'm also going to be reviewing a light for Melody Susie and you'll see more about that in just a moment and I also quickly want to mention that if you go into the description box there will be a link to a giveaway that is on their website so for that giveaway you can enter to win a light and a set of gel polish or you can enter to win um, a mirror and some other makeup y stuff. So you can go there and see which thing you want to enter and then enter that. And so this that's just for Thanksgiving, um, which is coming up here in a couple weeks. So I hope you enjoy this video and don't forget to click subscribe to my future videos as well. So here's the light from Melody Susie. It is an LED light only, so it's not going to cure any UV only products if you have those. And I do have a couple that are older. And so it's got lights on the top of it and on the sides, which is nice because that means it's going to cure all the way around. And it's got a 15 second button, a 30 second button, and a 60 second, so you can touch whatever one it is that you need. That being said, it doesn't have a countdown timer anywhere, which I do kind of like. Uh, it's not a necessity if you know how long it's going to be, but I do like that timer. Um, and so if you could see there and there, you might be able to see where the light coverage is. So if you have product that's like on the side, depending on the style of nail that you're doing, it's going to cure a lot better. Some of them have like a little mirror inside to help with that. This one doesn't have that, but if the lights are spread out enough, you don't really need it. One other thing is that the MS lights up on the top. So when you have it plugged in, you can see that it is plugged in and will be working because that little MS is light up or does light up and it's a lightweight lamp. So it'd be good for traveling. Um, I've used it and it's cured just fine, so so far so good. The first thing I'm going to be doing is creating a light blue overlay over the nail. And so I'm going to be doing doing this very thin. I want to keep all these background layers thinner. The one thing that you might not think about if you've never or if you don't do 3D very often is that the nails that have 3D can be a little thinner and a little more delicate than the other ones because that 3D nail art on top of it is going to add some strength. And so keeping these background layers nice and thin is just going to make the whole nail look a little less bulky, which sometimes 3D art can do. It can make it look really thick and heavy. But then I'm going to be adding a layer of clear acrylic that's mixed in with some hexagon glitter over the top of that. And this hexagon glitter is a clear type of glitter, so it just shows up iridescent, but it doesn't necessarily change the color of the background. And then I'm going to be adding a layer of clear acrylic on top of that just to encapsulate the nail and keep the glitter from being destroyed once you start filing it because sometimes if you file glitter depending on the glitter some glitters it's fine but some of them get really dull and silvery looking or gray looking once you start filing them so adding that layer of clear is just sort of a buffer so now I'm going to be filing my nail with a 180 grit file to remove any lumps bumps and imperfections and just making sure the lines are nice and clean and everything looks good and then I'm going to be buffing it with a 240 grit padded buffer to remove any scratches that that other file may have left behind apply a layer of gel sealer and throw that into my lamp to cure it so now I'm going to be sculpting all the major shapes of my little faxi with orange acrylic so I'm going to start with his head and then I'm going to add just sort of a elongated or not elongated but a rounded out triangle so the very top of his head is going to have a much higher curve than the sides but it's still vaguely triangular and then i'm going to be adding his oval body beneath that he doesn't have too much of a distinct neck so don't make so don't necessarily make that into a nice thin shape but just keep his whole body and neck area an oval like that and then add his nice fluffy tail to the side so make sure that the tail is thickest in the middle and comes to a point at the top of it and also where it connects to his butt. So now I'm going to be adding some white patches around his eyes. So with white acrylic that is on the thinner side, so make sure you have a little bit more um, monomer than you would normally. Just add those white sections. That way a little bit of that orange might show through. And also add the white on his chin as well. But if you have a little bit of that orange show through, it's going to make the white look a little less... Uh, intrusive almost it's gonna make it look like it belongs and then add a little more orange acrylic down the bridge of his nose so between those white eye patches and then just smooth it out over the forehead so 
So now I'm going to be using black and I'm going to add his little ears with black. So just make two little triangles at the tops of his head. Just like that. And then I'm going to start adding his arms with black as well. So for the arms, you're just going to want to create two long bar shapes that are right about in the middle of his body. Well, the legs together aren't, but they're centered between the two of them. So just add them coming down like that. And as you can see, my one is a little bit on the short side, so it's going to a little bit more to the end of that leg like that. And pull it out so it comes out like the other one does. There you go. I'm also going to be adding his little back feet sticking out from the sides of his body. They aren't going to show too much, just a little hint of those back feet. And because the acrylic is going to probably want to spread out on the gel sealer, make sure that after it sets for just a second, you go back and you push in those areas just to make sure that they're nice and crisp looking. Add a little black nose and then some white on the tip of his tail, just and then add it to the tip like I said and brush it down a bit so it has an uneven edge. Add some white into the center of each ear with very, very small beads of acrylic. And then I'm going to add just a little more orange acrylic to the forehead to clean up the lines around the ears. So now using brown acrylic paint, I'm going to do some outlining. So I'm going to outline the chin a little bit, outline the white eye patches and give him very subtle eyebrows. Outline where the hind legs would be. Add his black eyes, a little smile, and then apply matte top coat over the 3D art, and you are all done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this design. Please share recreations with me on Facebook and Instagram. I'd love to see them. And don't forget to check out the rest of this Woodland series. They're really cute as well, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!